Between the fabrics of space and time lies a place that exceeds all human thought and comprehension. Somewhere that holds more questions than it does answers. A place of darkness, desolation, and the greatest show in the universe! This is the Zero Dimension Variety Show with your host... Me! I'm the guy! The door didn't open all the way! everybody to the Zero Dimension Variety Show, the show that defies space, time, and logic. I am your host, and thank you very much for coming out this evening. <laughs> Folks, I like to start tonight's show with a new segment I like to call, WAIT A SECOND! <laughs> Spirits. Lyridian spirits are ghosts that were never alive. They were born dead. 
mother of God. <laughs> Along with that, uh, they have the special ability to weave between dimensions and galaxies, which has made them very hard to study for many, many years. Well, what information do you have? The only pattern we've noticed is that wherever they go, it's completely destroyed once they leave. Uh, how, how do you know that it was them? Take a look at these photos. This is planet Juvenon before the Luridian spirits arrived. Uh -huh. Oh! And this is planet Juvenon after the Luridian spirits arrived. Oh. As you can see, they've left a message for us to find. <laughs> Sweet mother of Mary. And you said that they can weave between dimensions? Yes, the only reason I am here is to warn you that the Luridian spirits have entered the zero dimension. <sighs> okay, and based on your research, how exactly do Luridian spirits kill things? <sighs> from samples we've collected from Huguenot, it seems they work on a demonic scale. First, they enter your body and begin to slowly eat you from the inside. How do ghosts eat? Don't interrupt me! I'm sorry. <laughs> As I was saying, first, they enter your body and begin to slowly eat you from the inside. You feel every tiny bite as hundreds of them feast on your organs, but you leave it up in there so you don't die just then. That's when they enter your brain. What do they do there? If you would stop interrupting me, I would tell you. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. Anyway, <laughs> damn it, you made me lose my train of thought. I'm sorry, I'm terrified right now. Oh. <laughs> ah, what the fuck is this? Don't, don't be scared, host. That's just a way for the Liridian spirits to. Ah! Oh my God, Dr. Geronimo, are you okay? Oh my God. Oh my god! Larry! Can you help me, please? Oh, hell no! No, you're on your own! I'll spot you! I. <laughs> Dr. Theronimus, are you okay? Oh. S moving and standing up like living things do. Alright. <laughs> Dr. Theronimus, are, are you okay? Hello, host. Who is that? Where are you? I am the leader of the Lurian Spirit Host, and I am here for you. Oh my god, what do you want? I swear I don't taste good. You look quite juicy to me. I bet your brain is plump and delicious. Oh my god! But we aren't going to eat you yet, anyway. She put on quite the program here in the Zero Image. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm the only one out here, but it, me it means a lot. Have you learned to pitch a lot of it? Maybe? We have a proposition for you. If we enjoy tonight's show, we'll let you live. And if not? Why don't you check your jacket pockets? Oh my god, whose heart is this? <laughs> Dr. Theronimus! <laughs> what have you done, you monster? I should have mercy. You won't, we won't be so kind to you. Bring it in out there. <laughs> <sighs> don't worry, everyone. I'll make sure everything tonight goes smoothly so you don't get eaten by ghosts. I'm pretty sure they said you'd be the one dying. Well, I'm sure everyone here is at risk, Larry. No, it's just you. <laughs> we are going to take a quick commercial break. But don't go anywhere, because when we come back, we're going to have the best dang show you've ever seen. Have you ever wondered what it's like being a wolf? 
living freely out in the wild without a care in the world, on four majestic legs that can run 31 to 37 miles per hour. Have you ever wanted to be a wolf? <laughs> well, now there's a way. Hi, I'm Texas Tim, here to advertise my new product, Wolf Water. One sip of my genuine wolf water will have you get one step closer to becoming nature's best friend. You see, I always fancy myself a wolf in a human body, and thanks to the hard work of myself and a plan of magical elves that live beyond the brinks of this forest here, me and many others like myself can live out our dreams of becoming a wolf. Just take a sip and let the effects settle in. See? Wasn't that just incredible? All this can be yours if you buy my Wolf Water. Only $4.76 per bottle. Don't wait. Unleash your inner beast. I think I'm ready for round two. Like you found my handiwork. <laughs> You're sick, 
you know that? Mother Teresa was a saint! I'm your pet wife. Look, how am I supposed to put on a show if you kill all my guests? Oh, host, you don't think I would leave you empty-handed, do you? That's exactly what I think. Tess, 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 shame on you. I'm running you desk for you to interview. He's quite, how should I put it, larger than life. Who is it? I'll give you a hint. He's one of England's biggest celebrities. Hugh Grant. Hey, no! <laughs> this man is much more, what's the right word, deadly. Hugh Grant. <laughs> no! <laughs> this man walked the streets of London and got it, people to death. Hugh Grant. No! It's Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper is your next guy. What? Hello, Governor. Thank you, Jack the Ripper, for being here tonight. Uh, sit down. What? Thank you. Uh, sorry, I don't have any questions prepared. I usually don't bring murderers on my show. <laughs> That's all right. It's all right. I know this was a bit of a, a last-minute situation. Uh, I'm just happy to be here. You know, you do seem really laid back for a psychopathic. Uh, I'm a different man now. I mean, the, the afterlife will change you in ways you can't imagine. Oh, really? Like, like how? Well, did you know that human beings, they have these things called emotions? <laughs> yes, yes I did. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? It's so easy for me to feel emotional now. In fact, just the other day, I cried while I was listening to rain sounds. It was magnificent. <laughs> well. Rain sounds can be very emotional. Yeah. Uh, how does it feel to not be a psychotic monster anymore? It is a way off my mind indeed. I, I bet. Actually, ever since learning about emotions, I've been putting all of my energy into writing poetry. Really? Yes, yeah, true. <laughs> I was wondering if uh, I could read a little bit of my poetry for your, your audience here. Oh, I, you know what? You came all the way here. And you seem like a good guy now, right? Like, have at it. Get up there. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, <clears throat> Here we go. <clears throat> <laughs> the moon shines on cold cobbled streets, whilst patrons drink and eat tasty treats. <laughs> they stumble out of the pub as the fog sets in, and I creep up from behind with my knife, freshly shot. <laughs> a wrong turn here, a wrong turn there. Sooner or later they all come face to face with my glare. Every breath shorter than the last. No time to scream, whip up, or whap. Wham. <laughs> my life dances to the front with joy. And then it... And then it goes, stab, 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 slash, 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 and the guts come out. They're all like... <laughs> You. For 
pathetic worm. If I wasn't in control of my emotions, I'd rip out your eyeballs and put them inside your kneecaps. Luckily, I'm a reasonable human being, so I will settle for a slap instead. Ow! It's <laughs> nice acting like such a cretin. Oh, I'm sorry that you can't take criticism. You are pushing me to the edge! magical elf that lives in the outskirts of Houston, Texas? Were you a part of Texas Timmy's wolf water factory? If you answered yes to one or both of those questions, then you may be entitled to financial compensation and legal justice. Hi, I'm Minnesota Mike, and together you and I are going to put a stop to Texas Timmy's exploitative business practices. You may be asking yourself, Minnesota Mike, what experiences do you have in the fantastical realm? Well, not only have I defended centaurs in a court of law, but dragons and battle dwarves as well. He'd keep us in that factory for hours. He'd yell at us, where's my wolf water? Where's my wolf water? I want to be a wolf. Oh! I'm sorry. It, it's just... This isn't what magic is for. Magic is for making flowers bloom or making flowers die. This isn't, this isn't what magic is for. So don't wait, give me a call today and get the money you earned. Together, you and I are gonna put a stop to Texas Timmy and bury him in the ground. Six feet under, he won't come back up. Wait to kill me, and then, but everyone else gets it the moment they arrive. 
Do not question the worship of the radiant spirits. Oh, that's all I do. In fact, why do you want to watch my fucking show to begin with? What do you have to benefit from that? Yeah, that's not concern you. Considering it's my show, I think it does. Not anymore. What? victimized by a man in a suit with a state in their name? Have you been bamboozled by hollow promises of financial security? If you answered yes, then you need to listen to me right now. Texas Timmy exploited our magic and work ethic to create an elixir to fulfill his darkest, most canine desires. And Minnesota Mike handed us empty promises and gave us hope that the worst was over. Little did we know, it was just beginning. We had to answer phones and fill out Excel sheets all day. I'm not meant for that. I'm an elf. It's not magic. Microsoft isn't magic. I know it's got an M, but it's not magic. We cannot sit down any longer. Call the number on your screen if you're ready to rise up, because the rebellion is upon us. Don't wait. Stand up for yourself today. Heart attack, 
homicide, suicide, other. It's a pretty short list, if you ask me. <laughs> other. If you chose other, please list off oh, paperwork. Killed by Loridian spirits. You were killed by Loridian spirits? Yep. They came on my show and killed me in front of a live audience. <laughs> Sounds like them, all right. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 do you know them or something? Know them? I created them. Accidentally, but I did it nonetheless. How do you accidentally create homicidal ghosts? I was a young wizard back then. I meant to create a portal to the spiritual realm, and something went horribly wrong. What? <laughs> well, uh, I mistakenly put a homicidal ghost potion instead of spiritual portal potion into the portal. Well, there are two very oddly specific potions to have. <laughs> Once I did that, my cauldron erupted with ghosts. They destroyed the entire village and everyone in it. I tried to stop them, but my magic wasn't strong enough then. The last thing I saw was them fly up into the sky. It was devastating. And how long ago was that? <laughs> Now. And have you figured out a way to stop them? <laughs> Honestly, I forgot I even did that until you <laughs> came here. So, no. Okay, well, thanks to you, I'm dead. My show's probably going to get canceled, and I'm going to be stuck in purgatory for who knows how long. Well, you could have tried not dying. That part isn't my fault. <laughs> you know what, Merlin? Every time I hear someone talk about you, it's always been such High regard. You know, you're looked at as a respected historical figure. But after talking to you, I realize that you're just an irresponsible and inconsiderate dickhead. Well, you don't have to be so mean about it. Hmm. Who am I kidding? You're right. I am irresponsible. It's the whole reason I'm in this stupid place. Oh, I thought you were here for a snack table. That was a lie! <laughs> I'm here because the wizard committee said this is the only place I can be useful. So what do you actually do? Uh, Merlin, and more coffee, please. Delicious. Thank you, Marilyn. <laughs> You're a coffee boy. <clears throat> I know, it's disgraceful. Don't look at me! <laughs> Merlin, I'm, I'm sure you're at rock bottom right now. I know I would be if I was demoted to magical coffee boy, but you need to pick, your, pick yourself back up by your, by your bootstraps and figure out a way to defeat the Loridian spirits. What's the point? They're probably too strong for me by now. Well, don't be so pathetic. You're Merlin the wizard. There's probably some kind of spell or potion you can concoct. There's nothing. Unless we... What? Uh, that couldn't possibly be. <laughs> Except for... What? <laughs> well, that, that wouldn't help. But of course! What? What? Just say it! Just say the thing! Host! My boy! I know what we must do! <laughs> you have to come back with me to wherever... Um, where, where are you from again? The, the Zero Dimension. The Zero Dimension? How did you end up in such a lonely place? Oh, well that's not important right now. What's important... Now is how are you going to bring me back to life? <laughs> you leave that to me. Okay. <laughs> Marilyn, if you leave purgatory, that is your third strike. To hell with you on your strikes, Desker. Oh, <laughs> my name is Betty. Well, to hell with you then, Betty. <laughs> <laughs> Some things in life are more important. Like writing or wrong, I should have righted what I first wanted. Stand back, this takes a lot of space. Swabbity,
about that, Larry. I have backup with me. Well, no. Get ready, backdrop. Hey, shut up, Lordy and Spirit. I'm not afraid of you anymore. You have some nerve speaking to us that way after we killed you so mercifully. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm back, baby. And I know someone who can take you down. <laughs> and who is that?